How much are the golf clubs? Three, two for five. Take your pick. Okay. What's the best you can do on that guy? Uh, I do uh... All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going to a brand new flea market yeah. that we've never been to. Always looking for golf clubs. Never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Oh. Tactical machetes. I barely trust you with a butter knife. <laughs> we use that for one of our unboxing. <laughs> this is a big old cleaver. <laughs> how you doing? Please? Good, how are you? How much are those shoes? That one, $10. $10? Oh, sure. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. There's a chance to that. They had one pair of golf shoes that they're at my size. We got the Footjoy Freestyles. They're, yeah, they're super popular like three years ago, maybe. But they're super comfortable. And my size. And my size, yeah. They got a Ronaldo jersey over there, too. I've seen like more shoes. Like, look at that. There's been like 10 booths that have had like that many shoes. Crazy. You're like a sneaker reseller. This is like heaven for you. Air Maxes, uh -huh. size 11. That's a lot of cool shoes. Uh-huh. Oh. I think they had a sneaker con here the other day. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, insulated Crocs. <laughs> Got New Balance golf shoes. Size 11. Oh, you got the uh, insulated Birkenstock looking things. <laughs> we gotta stop looking at that shoes. <laughs> I thought these were all knockoffs, but it is a lifetime supply of Dwight Howard Orlando Magic jerseys. Mm -hmm. Look, that one's new with tags. For the whole family. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I forget what TB's on. He's super famous for a long time. Superman. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that was his nickname. Seen if there's a Victor Oladipo one. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard Victor Oladipo sing? No. He did it when he was at IU. The dude's got like an amazing voice. Oh, actually, yeah. We went to a Pacers game, didn't he sing? Yeah, he, no, yeah, we went to the Pacers game and he sang the national anthem because the person like who was supposed to got sick or something. Yeah, and then he was injured so he wasn't able yeah. to play, so. There That's you go. We've been to a Victor Oladipo uh, concert. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got excited. I thought that was a Scotty Carrot Futura. <laughs> it's one of the uh, master, yeah, master grips designed by Pat Simmons. Superstroke Grip has seen a uh, Florida summer or two. Second golf club of the day. <laughs> I think this is one of those AVD ones. Yeah, AVDP. Where did you get that from that? <laughs> so we found these at a uh, thrift store before. Mm -hmm. And people were like, those used to be super expensive. And I had never heard of them, so now I remember it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, you saw them. That's yeah. Why. I was like, how did you see that just from the, the place of the club? <laughs> I can read the shaft label. <laughs> You're giving away my secrets. Everybody's like, how could you spot that? I read the shaft label. Look at this Donald Duck cookie jar. Let's see if we can't get a uh, price on that. Also, we have to uh, censor our, our videos now. <laughs> Got it. How much for the cookie jar? How much you got on the cookie jar? Good. This is good. Oh, good. Good. Yes, sir. Yes. How much you got on the cookie jar? That's $4. $4? Yes, cool. We can do that. Thank Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Plastic bag, you good? Uh, I should be okay. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> it's a decapitated tunnel. I thought he was gonna say like 40 bucks. Yeah. I like this flea market. Also, almost got shot by a BB. <laughs> Not really where I would test a BB. <laughs> I think it might be airsoft, but still. Oh. Third golf club of the day. 
I've never seen so many single golf clubs. It's a Ram Junior Club. It's a mid iron. Got a lifetime supply of honey lemon cough drops. Got some Dutch clogs over here and a hoverboard. Where else could you get that to say booth? <laughs> These are sweet. Mm -hmm. Very interesting find so far. Yeah, Ashley and I both took Dutch in college. Mm -hmm. Dutch culture is very interesting. Yeah. They have a very unique sense of humor. Yes. Oh, golf bag. Oh, there you go. Walter Hagen golf bag. So those at Dick Sporting is comes with a free plant. Another loose club. This one looks pretty good. I think it's the Cleveland Mash. Yeah. Oh, it's a 15 degree one. Thing's gonna go for miles. Is this your? Yeah. Uh, how much is that? Ten dollars. Thanks. Look at this Santa, <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> do you do the gar uh, garage sales or just buy out storage units or stuff? Uh, well, kind of. I used to do storage units, but they're ridiculous now. They're yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention that it's like too much work. It's, yeah. I mean, they're fun, but you never know what you're gonna get. You, you can get out of money real quickly. You know what, in like the five years, five, ten years that I actually did buy storage units, and I wasn't crazy like these guys, but I mean, I buy a couple of months, but I never hit, there was one unit that I made like $1,500. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, they're, yeah, now all the units are going for $1,500. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most of the units I bought, I'm, I'm making a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like a pan, throwing everything out. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. going through it all. <laughs> Too many trips to uh, Goodwill afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Get a giant hamster ball to go with our Donald Duck cookie jar. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> Was that, like, it's funny in my head that I said it. <laughs> Most things were funny in my head until I say them. Uh, if only people could see our unedited videos. It's like 400 attempts at a joke. I actually get some every single time. Yeah, I'm the queen of the dad jokes. You should just have like a compilation of Ashley's reactions to my dumb jokes. Also got a Cleveland Mashi uh, hybrid. This thing is going to be a rocket launcher. 15.5 degrees. Mm -hmm. I like that head cover too. Yeah, the head cover is cool. Oh, I thought that broom was a golf club. Oh, look at the thing. It's like the world's largest Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> you can pack your angry eyes and some golf balls in case you play golf. Golf ball, if you have time for golf. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, samurai sword and uh, what is this? Drop three. Free range chicken. Free range chicken. <laughs> Look at that. The pig mouse love Kentucky Fried Chicken. This yours? How much you want for it? 20. 20? You know how much it costs? Yeah. Thank you. How much you want for the KFC uh, picture? Five dollars. I think it's cool though. <laughs> Because you know what you're buying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have five? No. I think you got it. Oh, I, I gave you, I gave you both fast for $25. Uh, the wooden one. The pearl one. I'll think about it. We'll stick with this for now. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. This is all my mind. This is mahogany, obsidian, regular black, and 
this piece, this piece, and this piece are pieces of brain. Golf clubs. Miller light bag. Oh, that's cool. How much are the golf clubs? Three, two for five. Take your pick. Okay. Oh, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Take your pick. Uh, I'm not a golfer. I would li like to see you on your swing. Just take, 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 take what you want. We'll give you five for just this one. Okay, all right. That's, that's, a, that's a good guy. Yeah. How much do you want for the Miller Lite bag? The Miller, I take 10 bucks. I pull all those things out. It's got stuff in there, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's always the fun going through all the pockets. <laughs> So uh, I think we're. You take it? I think we're okay. Huh? Yeah. He, he, yeah, let's taking do this. my best stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just unload. You, oh, you, you all right. It? I told you he was a good guy. <laughs> yeah. So 15 total? Yeah. Cool. So, let me see. Could I, you want me to hold it up? <laughs> There's a clown in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Spend a dollar to get that 20. <laughs> Listen. If, if, if I could read money like that, then I might have some of it. <laughs> Thanks again. Yep. And how are you guys? Good, how are you? What can I do for you? We do a bag of just the original. Original meaning plain or yep. a little bit of cinnamon sugar? Yeah. Uh, just plain. Just plain? Yeah. Five dollars, ten, twenty. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, first food offering of the day, some mini donuts. We've had these before, but they are so good. Yeah, they are. The plain are the way to go. Mm. They're so fluffy. And they are so good. They're super soft, perfectly uh, fried, mm -hmm. I guess they are. Self-fried, that was a cool Self -fried. machine. Self-fried. <laughs> yeah, we need to get one of those machines. <laughs> no, that would be very bad, but very good. Mm-hmm. Definitely going to be on the uh, hunt for some more golf clubs and some more food. That taco place looks really good. Yeah. Saw some people eating there, but we'll let you know if you find any golf clubs or some more food, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> 10 out of 10? 10? 10 out of 10. I think they still have these uh, Adams irons. The last time that we were here, Adams Idea Pro. Mm -hmm. We got a set of these at uh, oh, only 50 bucks. Huh. Got a major chip on the seven iron though. Yeah. We got a set of these with um, steel fiber shafts at a pawn shop. I think we got them for like 70 bucks or something like that. No focus here. Oh, Whoa, this is glass putter. That's pretty crazy. Lefty. Uh-huh. It's cool. You guys been big news in here lately. Uh -oh. oh, really? <laughs> yes, two, two people last weekend had mentioned, your, what's your website? Or your Stacked Golf. Stacked yeah, golf. Stacked YouTube, YouTube, yep. Well, yeah, I know them. They're coming here. Yeah, I've seen you uh, on your videos or something. Like that. <laughs> That's usually what happens. No, no, I've got them on the Glad it wasn't something bad, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> What was that deal that one time you guys said you were looking for like three or four clubs for under $20? Oh yeah, oh, yeah the flea market challenge. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Like three holes at LPGA. Is that LPGA you played? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the little practice setup yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. So he, he, what he proved was I could play, hit, play park golf and throw a chunk of golf clubs. Yep. For three hours. So, which is so true. I played those holes enough nowhere to know where to uh, <laughs> miss them and everything. Yeah. What's the best you can do on that guy? Uh, I do uh, eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Cool. We can do that. We can look for. Yeah, so I said it's just like fishermen. Anything that looks like a worm, the fish is going to bite. But they got all these fancy. Oh yeah. yeah. There's four hundred different types of senkos though. Literally. <laughs> 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 Thank you. All right, folks, that was an intense day of flea markets, to yeah. say the least. I think we ended up going to like five total flea markets. Yeah, we got like a little loop on the map. You're just go to that one, go to that. And it just ended up being five uh, flea markets. A couple of them are brand new, mm -hmm. and they was, were super interesting. Yeah, it's that first really one, cool stuff. The first one we went to is like, is basically your dream flea market. It's just like a bunch of junk, and you can haggle and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But we just got done trying everything out at the uh, range. Let's start off with the uh, R540. I think we got that for $5. He said like it was like two for three or something like mm -hmm. that. And I was like, I'll give you $5 for yeah. that one. It's a good deal. Either way, and I basically had to take a, a long drive uh, yeah. drive at it. I'm shocked I hit it at all. <laughs> yeah, you got it up in the air. Your swing has been doing. You're 
Yeah, I'm yeah. getting there. Still got some kicks to work you out. You definitely uh, increase your uh, club head speed to be able to hit a 7.5 <laughs> degree driver up in the air. This thing goes for about $20. And then we got the uh, Cleveland Mashie. Which I love the head cover. Yeah, the head cover, the old school head cover is super cool. And this thing, 15.5 degrees loft. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it up in the air. Ashley crushed it. Mm -hmm. And then this thing might replace a three wood or a driving iron yeah. or both. It's it like, just like looks really cool. It just looks like a hunk of metal. Yeah, it looks too. like a hunk of metal and it definitely gets it out there. I hit yeah. it further than the uh, driver, so maybe it'll replace, they'll be the only club that I ever go. need. What but, a club uh, challenge. And then the uh, find of the day in terms of the golf clubs was the Ping G400. That guy is always super cool. He's at the uh, Daytona flea market. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, Ping G400 was marked 100. I just went up there and I was like, what's the best you can do? I thought yeah. he was going to be like 100. Yes. He ended up giving it to us for uh, $80. So. I don't know, go in there and uh, drop our name. Maybe you'll get a deal. Or, or maybe, maybe he'll charge you more. Yeah, he'll probably charge you more uh, <laughs> if you drop our name. But the uh, Ping G400, it was uh, good. It spun a little bit too much for me, but it was, uh, yeah. the Ping G series are like, that's why I'd say it felt really nice, but I don't really, I couldn't feel the difference between my Ping G30. Yeah, Maybe Ashley. It's just my swing, but I, yeah. Ashley plays a full set of the uh, Ping but G. But if you get a good deal on it, definitely. Yeah, the Ping G30s, they almost go for the same amount of, yeah, like, crazy. the Ping G30 series is like skyrocketed in price lately. But if you find any of the uh, Ping G series hybrid, I would definitely give them a mm -hmm. go. And then also we got these uh, two clubs. There was like chickens clucking in the background and a lawnmower so guy. that hear. Yeah, you can, he was like <laughs> testing a lawnmower, so you couldn't hear us. But we got a uh, illegal spin doctor wedge for a dollar and then a old uh, never compromised putter for for a dollar as well. And then this Miller Lite bag was uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I think that was uh, $10. So we got that driver and the uh, bag for $15. Mm -hmm. And then we found this in it. The Pinehurst uh, divot repair tool. Yeah, the uh, Pinehurst, uh, what do they call it? Divot repair tool. Ball a ball mark, mark repair, repair tool. tool. Something. I guess you're gonna place a divot with it too. Golf tool. It's a golf tool. <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh, also that uh, Donald Duck thing that we yeah, found. It was four dollars. I thought he was gonna be like that place was like everything yeah. was just like stupid cheap. It was, it was one of our favorite flea markets mm -hmm. that we've ever been to. But I saw those online. There were a couple of them. They're going for over a hundred dollars. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I think the uh, Ping G series goes for like 140 or 160. <laughs> and a Donald Duck. And a Donald Duck thing costs almost the uh, same amount of money, but. Yeah. Strange day. What Strange day for sure. Hopefully you guys did like this uh, video. Stay away from the flea markets. They're a little addicting. Yes. As you are. can see by our video. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. Do like, and subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see, you next see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.